Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. We saw some volatility around the yeah, opening of the US stock exchange, um, but from what I said in my previous video, this is pretty much unchanged. Yeah, we talked about this lower B wave getting probably into this support area, um, but it needs to turn around there. Otherwise we'll, we'll get into trouble here. Uh, in the, sh in the, you know, when we had that volatility, I already, you know, I posted, I kept the channel members up to date on Discord and Telegram. Um, and we said, or I said that if we see five waves up from here, then I will scale in long in the, um, in the retracement. Now we didn't see five waves clearly. This was only a three wave move up. If you look on the 15 minute chart, it's quite clear. Um, even if you disregard this first one, cause this could be a one, two, one, two, but if you just look at this one, two, three and it didn't push high enough yeah and uh, i also mentioned that it needs to move so ethereum needs to move above 12 well 12 16 ideally sort of um probably already 12 12 15 would be sufficient just to get above this swing high to confirm that a, a more substantial low has been made already in the b wave now the problem is it didn't do that and it only made three waves to the upside so the move down was quite impulsive. So it suggests that we will get more into that we will get into this support area after all, um, where we have another chance to turn around. That, in my opinion, is the last chance for Ethereum to turn around or for ETH to turn around and to put that higher C wave in place here in a five wave move into the 1270 region, maybe even higher. But as long as we don't really break out above this resistance here, about this range, yeah, so this is basically this ascending wedge that we talked about uh, earlier today and yesterday. So that is to be considered some kind of a range that we need to get above resistance area. And we haven't done that. We, you know, we're just dropping, we get rejected. We dropped out of this ascending wedge to the downside. So at the moment we can still look at this blue pattern in terms of more upside is likely but we need to hold this white support area, which is located between um, relevant Fibonacci retracement. So between the 61.8% retracement and the 78.6. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this could already turn around at any time now. It doesn't need to get that low, but the um, lower level wave structure just would suggest it for me that we will still go a bit lower here. Um, again, we don't have to because a wave B could also you know, just turn around at the 50% retracement. But the thing is, if we are resetting here the B wave, it should get lower than the previous low, which was at 1184. And the most likely support then would be the 61.8% level at 1180 or the 78.6% FIP level at 1167. Already below 1167, the scenario of going higher in a C wave would get much less likely. And if we drop below 1150, I will, I will be leaning towards a direct breakdown, which means I wouldn't even be leaning anymore towards short term upside into the 1270 region in a C wave. I would have to assume that we have already made the three wave move to the upside in whatever shape or form here, A, A, B, C in some kind of a, of an unlikely short C wave. And then we're breaking down straight away. This is the blue count. Yeah. That means below 1150, I'm going to lean towards the blue count, which doesn't mean it's fully confirmed, but I'm going to lean towards it. Um, so that would be, where does this wave five come from? Yeah. So we would be moving down, but this would most likely take us down into the $1,000 region, possibly lower. And then we will have the next pivot point decision point there. Yeah. So this is the blue count that we've been talking about now for, for a while. Um, wave one down, wave two up, wave three down, four up, five down. The thing is, if we break below the 1150 level, we have to assume that the wave two top was in somewhere here already. Yeah. And that we won't get this larger ABC structure. Um, the obviously more short term upside will then also be invalidated or unlikely. Now it's worth noting, absolutely, it's worth noting and mentioning that B waves can be tricky. B waves can be unpredictable. They can do funny things at times. So you get B waves that go below the beginning of the A wave. Then we get something like an expanded flat. That's why sometimes it's just better to stay away from B waves overall until we have clarity. Um, 
if this is a B wave. So I cannot rule out, even if we go below 1150, what, what you need to know also for your risk management, money management, and so on, I cannot rule out still a higher C wave then. Because B waves, again, they can do funny things. But uh, again, below 1150, I will, I will start to lean towards um, going down straight away without that C wave. And if we then break below the 1125 level, for me, it's confirmed to go down, okay? So just to worth, to worth to mention that, in the short term, it appears to me that we're gonna get into this white support area. Um, if this is a blue B wave, then in terms of labeling, again, the sub waves, I think I did that actually in the previous video, we've got here the A wave, um, here probably the B wave and the C wave here to the downside then. And, um, or it would actually be, I mean, if I label it like that, to be honest, it's most likely not an ABC, it's most likely a WXY. And then just to keep it correct, we had here an A wave down, a B wave up, and now a C wave down. And in this C wave, we are looking for a five wave move. So, and, and that's the, 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 let's say the problematic situation we have. I think this is only the one, two. And now we're moving down in something, yeah, like a wave three, but it's getting a bit tough now because, you know, the wave three is running out of space. This could be some kind of a diagonal pattern, surely, but, um, I, I wouldn't even look at the subwaves here so much. It is important that we're holding the support levels that I mentioned to you. Yeah, and that's where we are here currently. And um, as long as we stay below that 12.15 level, um, it is expected to continue to move down. And then we are, you know, in this support area, we've got the next pivot point, next decision point. Okay, and that's my update about ETH. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. And also, if you're interested, check out the trading course we offer on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.